Hey everybody, welcome back. It's another beautiful but breezy day here in Arizona today. I had a woodpecker on the on the pole up there, kind of driving me nuts. Uh, so it's Monday morning and today I'm going to try and fix all the mistakes from last week. That's going to start with uh, wiring at that coil. I actually did go down and buy the correct part. And the reason I didn't have it the other day isn't because I didn't want to spend the eight bucks for the part. It's because I just did not want to drive down to the store one more time. I'm sure you guys know what that's like. But this week, my big push is I want to know why this thing isn't running right and get it fixed. It idles beautifully, but the second you try and give it gas, it falls on its face. So I think the projection box is working. Um, so I'm going to be looking at the spark plugs, the vacuum advance, the mechanical advance, things like that to see if I can um, I can't get this thing running correctly. Again. Okay, so I think I finished I figured out one of my main problems is I didn't just have the tax sense wire screwed up here. I screwed it up over there when it came out of the Holly projection wiring harness. I reversed them over there. So I had the time oh God this is embarrassing. That's why I'm telling you so it'll I'll, I'll burn it home. I had the tack sense wire and the power wire reversed, so it didn't matter what I did over here. I had them reversed over there, and there is no excuse for that. This isn't like something I'm not good at. This is something I do, or at least used to do a lot of. So I have no excuses. I was pissed off. I was tired. It doesn't matter. I, I just screwed up, and now I've got to fix it. So I believe I may have redeemed myself, at least partially. I'm actually shocked I didn't let all the magic blue smoke out or something. I'm even more shocked that it ran at all like that. But I had the RPM sense wire for the fuel injection running around to the solenoid. And then I had the one from the solenoid. I tried it on both sides of the coil. And of course on one on the hot side it ran the fuel injection all the time. And on the um, negative side it didn't but it still did not run right so now i have it wired up all the wires in the loom where it belongs i have the correct connector on the coil i still have to get the little hangers that pop into holes for that because the original ones are just you know they just crumbled when i touched them and um everything's routed nice everything's soldered and heat shrunk and all the extra wiring is out of here, all those extra loops that, that have been in there forever. Everything is as much into the loom as I can get it to be. Um, let's get the camera on a tripod and let's see how she runs. that chirp is coming from one of the accessories. I can't really identify it right now because it doesn't do it at idle, but I think it's either this idler pulley or the AC, the AC clutch. But um, it may have to get worse before I can identify it. But I tell you guys, I feel pretty good about figuring that out, even though it's a mistake I shouldn't have made in the first place. I'm feeling pretty happy that nothing got wrecked and that it's running right again. And even though it's only 1.30, I think I am going to quit and go inside and feel good about myself for a while. <laughs> I hope you guys have a, had a great day, as good as I did. And um, I'll catch you soon. I have more parts arriving. I have aluminum washer and coolant reservoir bottles. I've got three-point seat belt harnesses. Now... They already sent me those, and they sent me the wrong ones, so I had to return them today. And I'm going to reorder them and hope I get the right ones the next time. And um, what else do I have? still have a headlight switch coming. My desire to have a functioning fuel gauge has overridden my lack of desire to take the tank out. So we're going to do that. Got something else for under the hood. Can't remember what it is off the top of my head.
but um, whatever it is, I'll remember it when it arrives. Oh, and I got the the um, Bluetooth cigarette lighter thing arriving as well. We'll get that in as soon as they arrive and the rest of the parts as they arrive. And um, catch you guys in the next one. Bye for now.